All right, evening all. Um, guys, tonight we are going to transfer half of the contents of this Australis hive into this observation hive for a, um, for a client of mine. So um, you've got to populate them somehow and this is the best way to do it. So rather than split this box and stick an empty back or front or whatever on it, we'll um, split it and then remove what I need to remove and stick it in here. Now, we're doing it at night in the workshop because this guy here sits in a line of five Australis hives and there's two other observation hives and uh, a couple of TC hives and a TH hive as well. So um, if I did it during the day, it'd be a bit chaotic, I think. So what I'm going to do tomorrow morning is I'll put the observation hive where this guy was and I'll move this hive down to the end of the line. So hopefully the foragers from this guy, when it's out of position, go back to the observation hive. So let's crack her open and see what we've got. All right. Okay, so I've just had to cut the viewing panel. Um, so we're just going to open him up and see what we've got. Looks like all the brood wants to come out in one half. It does. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is sit that one up there for a bit. And I might sit this one on its back. And I'll just take this viewing panel off here just to give me a little bit more access. Oh, that queen's on the viewing panel. She just scooted away. Okay. I'll just sit that guy there for a minute. Okay, so I think what I might do is pretty much just try and remove half of this down that way, I think. We'll see where it wants to naturally break. Okay. Just pause in there and I'll grab Okay, so I've just removed this piece here. It just came out beautifully. We have a mixture of old brood and new brood. So I'll just place that down there. Looks beautiful. Now I just want to try and get a little bit of food in there. So I'll see what I can get out easily. And um, yeah, we should be able to get a little bit of honey and pollen out of this for sure all right i'll just pause this and i'll um, come back to you when we've got it done okay so i've put just a smidge of honey in a smidge of pollen we've got a nice piece of brood there that's got a mixture of advancing front and older brood i'm pretty sure the queen is not in there She'll be in here somewhere, but I might just have a quick look in this half of the box here for some queen cells, just to be sure. I have no doubt there'll be some on the um, on the other piece of brood, but look, I'll have a look, and when I find them, I'll um, I'll show you. Okay, so we'll just put them back together. Just get that viewing panel wherever that went. Excuse me. Put that back down there. Right. 
Okay, so we are done. Got a really nice mixture of old brood and new brood. So this is all the older stuff. On this side there is a queen cell in there. At least one, there's probably several. So I'll, um, I'll just spin the hive around and show you the other side. So this is the other side of the hive with considerably newer brood. Looking good. Put a smidge of uh, pollen there. Put a bit of honey there. They'll clean that up really quickly. Australis clean so well. Try and get a better shot of this. That's a little bit better. I'll just slide the cover on and um, we're done. Alrighty, the cover is on. So tomorrow morning I'll put him back in position. Remove the cap here. And away we go. Alright guys, have a good one eh?